Game Wiz One here for GWiz TV. I wanted to talk to you today about Microsoft's recently released patch for Windows 8, Windows 8.1. As you may or may not know, at this point there have been users that have reported that Windows 8.1 has completely bricked their system. Now, I myself have not been able to confirm any accounts of Windows 8.1 destroying devices. But what I can say is in my own experience, I have two Windows 8 devices and I experience no difficulty whatsoever in installing Windows 8.1. What I can say on the other hand is that the installation has given me problems that literally I cannot explain. The first of the problems, the more minor, is that using 8.1 will have completely removed the Bing app. Now, some of you may know, Bing actually offers a reward program for its users, which basically allows you to use Bing as your search provider, and in doing so, every two times that you use the Bing search panel, you're rewarded with a point. Now, once you acquire enough of these points, the user is able to go into their Bing Rewards site and trade them off for certain materials or certain um, prizes. And I myself was particularly, uh, how would you put it, I, I was really happy being able to trade in my points for Windows um, or Microsoft Xbox 360 points. Um, you could also use the same rewards program to get uh, Amazon uh, gift cards. So, as you can imagine, removing this app has been no end of a problem for me because in the past I could simply open the app, I could spend a few hours going through different news articles, and at the end of that time I was rewarded for having done so with my Bing points. Now, however, this is no longer the case. If I want to get those same Bing rewards, I now have to just go through Bing itself in Internet Explorer and do random searches. Now, as you may imagine, this basically is um, Microsoft punishing the users who previously used the app in a way that they really wanted the users to do and has now forced their hand if they want to continue to get their rewards points they have to actually just go in and randomly search for various terms which may or not, may not be relevant in an attempt to get the same benefit that was previously just easy and centrally located in the Bing app. Now as, as you may imagine this isn't a deal breaking problem but what may be a deal breaker for some is that the switch to Windows 8.1 may cause problems with certain software which really would have been unforeseen. In my own uh, example, the problem that I've run into is my Norton 360 antivirus uses a system where you sign into a, a little thing called your identity safe locker. When you do that, the Norton program would basically fill in websites whenever I needed to log in. It would um, enter my ID as well as my password, but it had another useful feature where it would store your credit card or debit card information and anytime you would go to an online retailer like Amazon or eBay, Norton would simply fill out the payment form for you and you didn't have to worry about getting your credit cards out, remembering your information. It was nice and simple. You could just click the button, boom, everything was filled out. Now, however, due to some unforeseen problem with the 8.1 update, Norton 360, depending on a version, whatever version you have, it may or may not work. Now, I do have a close friend who uses Norton 360, and at this point, he has not had any problems with his version of Norton 360. 
I myself, however, only recently changed out the older version to the newer one, and it was at that time that we discovered the problem. <clears throat> at first, I myself tried to log in to Norton and was unable to for at least a few hours I tried over and over to sign into my own account and was simply unable to. Eventually I came to the conclusion that I required more help and decided to do an online chat with a Norton specialist. Once I did the next hour and a half was spent basically in a futile attempt to have them fix my Norton software. This person simply could not figure out the problem and regardless of their tech know-how they just simply could not get the job done. Eventually I was, ha uh, I was put into an escalated uh, queue so that a higher level tech could come onto my computer and try to find the problem. It was soon after this had happened that that tech specialist basically found out in order for me to be able to log into Norton what is actually necessary is that I log out of Windows. <clears throat> now as you may know when you get Windows 8.0 one of the first things that you have to do is sign in using some sort of Microsoft email account. Now at the time you could sign in with Hotmail now they have live the, the reason for this is Windows 8.0 was going to synchronize your hardware with a server farm and it was basically a way to keep all of your settings nice and safe on the cloud. <clears throat> now however, this feature, while very useful initially, has become far more important and far more secure now that they've upgraded to Windows 8.1. The reason being, 8.1 now stores all of that same information that would, you would use on your Norton account, your login info, your passwords. This is all stored using their own software, the, the what is it called, the SkyDrive? So once this transition was made, Microsoft systems now require added levels of security to be able to sign into your system. Unfortunately, this was what was causing my problem with Norton 360. The tech inevitably had to create an offline profile on my computer to be able to finally solve the problem and to sign me into my Norton 360 account. Unfortunately, once this is done, you're left with the option of remaining in an offline mode for your Windows program which of course if you choose to do so means that you're going to forego those nice little updates that you get on Skype all of your emails stop you're going to have problems until you're able to configure your system to be able to allow you to use an offline profile and still be able to get some of the features that you would get simply by having your profile logged in making matters worse I decided I was simply going to deal with the Norton problem at another time. I would just log back into my Windows 8.1 system and I would deal with problems later. In doing so, I was required to then accept a phone call from Microsoft to my house. Now this might not seem like a problem because at the end of the day the only thing that happens is a computer program says hello and you're given a nine digit code that you enter into your computer which verifies that you are in fact the user of your very own computer. The problem with this is if you're like me and you happen to have call waiting, what is going to happen to you when someone decides to call and you're in the middle of writing down this all important code? If your system is like mine, the, the person that you're talking to is muted, it then does a beep noise a second or two later, it goes back to your original call, and eventually when a second beep comes through, it repeats the same process. Now, the, the phone call to verify that you are yourself actually repeats the code twice. 
but as I've mentioned, I do get two beeps whenever someone tries to call in. So it is altogether possible that I am not able to get the entire code. At this point, you might find yourself unable to log in to your own computer. This is unacceptable. It should not be that something as simple as logging into my antivirus software is now completely and totally blocked simply because I've updated my system to Windows 8.1. Now, as you may have heard, there have been so many problems from users that Microsoft has decided to take 8.1 off of the Microsoft Store. This may not be a problem for some users, but for others, it's going to be a big problem because now they feel as though their update could potentially have hurt their system. Hopefully at this point Microsoft will quickly move forward and provide some type of fix for Windows 8.1 so that you are able to sign into your software without having to go through the troublesome process of creating an offline profile and then verifying who you are to get right back onto your online profile through Windows 8.1. At this point, I'm just waiting for a little more information from Microsoft as to how to work around this problem. And once I get this news, I will gladly come on here and post more information. But at this time, if you would, if you are yourself having problems with your Windows 8.1 installation, please leave some messages down below and let others know what's going on so that they might be able to check their own system and find the solution to their problems as I was able to by creating an offline profile. That's it for me now. This is GameWiz1 through GWiz TV. I will talk to you again later. If you can, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure we're able to provide our particular brand of information to you. Thanks. See you again later.